What's up everybody, this is Brad, and we got a Pokemon Presents to watch. Um, don't really know what to expect, it's supposed to be about 20 minutes, yeah, that's what the thing says, 19 and some change. Um, probably gonna be, at least the guarantee is gonna be Scarlet and Violet stuff, but it's 20 minutes, I, we don't really know much about the new games, so it could be entirely about those, but the fact that they didn't really specify what's gonna be in this there could be some surprises, so let's quit stalling and get right into it. Hello, Pikachu. Hello, everyone. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. A whole lot of Pikachu Pokemon plushies Beasts, in the back. We will be sharing information on several of our games, including the Pokemon Scarlet Ultra Beast. and Pokemon Violet games. But before that, I'm happy to share some news about the Pokemon World Championships that will be held in London, UK this year from August 18th to August 21st. This is across all the Pokemon games and stuff, I guess. Hello, Pokemon trainers. I'm Chris Brown from the Pokemon Company International. No offense, just personally not really interested in this stuff. Annual Pokemon World Championship. <clears throat> After three years, our global community will not a competitive gamer. 18th to 21st in London for not only intense Pokemon battles, but also to be together, celebrating old friendships and creating new ones, all in the spirit of friendly competition. I recently was playing Pokemon Puzzle League, and I talked about uh, to compete in this year's being in, in game, game, uh, one time I went for a thing events. for Many the actual the TCG. This was years and years ago. And we are thrilled Never got a badge or anything. It, it would have been cool to get badges, like actual badges, and earn them. Many new elements to the show. You can, Beginning with two you can, uh, Pokemon titles. Please join me in welcoming Pokemon Go. Oh, yeah. Where nearly 100 players will compete oh. across two age divisions. And Pokemon Unite. <clears throat> 16 teams from yeah, but, and regions. Yeah, like, you can buy, uh, you know, fan-made badges. Although, there may be official ones out there, but it's different to earn something like that than it is to buy. Fans attending in person. Although, I'm sure that, that you know, there's... World's pop -up shop. There's certain differences, I'm sure, that they're, they're not exactly the same, but all yeah. the action from wherever you are on our dedicated earning the badges, I'm sure, is fun. Product, including coverage of every championship match for each age division. Pokemon tournaments are held around the world, and we hope the competition at the World Championships inspire many new players Was that, uh, new friends through battle. There was a clip of Xerneas there. Was that like the 3DS games? For fans today, our new Pokemon World Championships Pikachu trophy. Take a look. Oh, <laughs> it's a yeah, it's a trophy of Pikachu holding a trophy. That's that's funny. Double champion. Thank you very much, Mr. Brown. Ads suck. With the Pokemon World Championships returning after three years, please look forward to exciting battles to keep you on the edge of your seats. Now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our games. Okay. For the first time in three years, we held in-person Pokemon Go Fest events in Berlin and Seattle. And this weekend, we will be holding an event in Sapporo, Japan. Mysterious creatures known as Ultra Beasts have appeared at each event. And these Ultra Beasts will all gather together during the Pokemon Go Fest 2022 finale event that will be held on August 27th. The finale is a global event that can be enjoyed by trainers wherever they are in the world. Trainers will be able to encounter Pokemon they may not normally see in the wild. They can also encounter the mythical Pokemon Shaman oh boy, by ad. special research. Will you be able ad to skipped. help contend with the Ultra Beasts? And what has become of Professor Willow who was sucked into Ultra Space through an Ultra Wormhole? Stay tuned for the story's hmm. conclusion. Kind of wild that we had a whole uh, generation just introduce us that there are not only alternate dimensions with people in them in this uh, Pokemon world, but, but Pokemon too. So it's just. What? Use daily adventure incense for a 15 minute adventure every day. Over the past six years, we've seen Pokemon from every region debut in Pokemon Go. 
there are now over 700 Pokemon you can register to the Pokedex. Whether you're making new friends at Pokemon I wonder how popular Pokemon Go still is, though. Like, it, it was really cool to see, like, everyone walking around town and in different places trying to find Pokemon uh, when it was new. That was that was a very Pokemon unique special like point in time. In celebration of its first anniversary, we're adding not only new Pokemon and features to the game, but also many events and campaigns. I haven't played Pokemon Unite in a while. I think it's a fun it's little game. Battle, I think like the the battle pass and stuff is really sucky. It's not very good. Like, here, you buy this battle pass, you can get these special socks for your character that you rarely ever see in the game. Oh, that's pretty fun. Okay. Additionally, Buzzwool will be joining Unite Battles starting today, August 3rd. Buzzwool is an all-rounder that can grapple opposing Pokemon and launch them into the air. Run them up in battle with Buzzwool's ability, Beast Boost. <laughs> Body Slam! Rarely increases Buzzwool's movement speed and basic attack speed each time it knocks out an opposing Pokemon. <laughs> Flying elbow! This first anniversary is just the start of what's to come in Pokemon Unite. We're planning more events for September as well. Oh, there so we go. Even more Pokemon coming. And we're gifting Unite licenses in Hollowware for Pikachu, Lucario, Blastoise, Snorlax, and Sylveon in celebration of the first anniversary. The costumes are cute and all, but it feels like it's too much work to get those. Get this crap off my screen. Oh boy, what is this? Oh, that's red. What is this? Oh. I was getting excited for a minute. This is a little mobile game. Hey. Mm hmm. Oh, that makes sense. The Trainer Lodge. I guess people who play that game will, will be excited. Mewtwo! What the? Oh yeah, I remember seeing this. I meant to check out that game and I never did. It's so funny. Here are some hints on how to play the one minute cooking puzzle mode. Mewtwo! We need an extra order of mashed potatoes. One, gather great staff. Mewtwo likes to order small plates, so gather staff that specialize in small plates. Pikachu, Squirtle, the five star chef Victini, and the newly arrived Latias are good at those orders. If you want to aim for the high score, try raising your Pokemon staff level. Go to the Pokemon menu to start raising their staff level by training them. Once your great staff is up to the challenge, it's time to begin one minute cooking. <laughs> on to the second tip. Just keep on mixing as much as you can. Once you begin one minute cooking, keep on mixing the Pokemon to rack up those combos. Use these tips to make delicious drinks and dishes. And you should be able to satisfy Just looking at it, I guess the way you play this game is that you just shake up the icons of the uh, Pokemon faces and all until a bunch of them uh, that match line up, or not line up, but touch each other, and then it, it clears them. Today, this is your chance to get Victini and Latias on your staff. Pokemon Cafe Remix is available at no cost to start and is playable on Nintendo Switch systems and mobile devices. But if you want to play it, uh, if you want to stream it, you can't play it on your Switch because it's touch screen. Next up, an update on the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. Another ad. Ad skipped again.
Wait, what? On screen text and voiceovers are not in the game? Oh. I guess this is gonna be like explanatory stuff. This looks cool. What the? That's a new whooper? Attention, please. Today we begin the treasure hunt. Treasure hunt. Travel across Paldea. Paldea. Oh, you travel on Get these things. The Oh, what? <laughs> it's literally just a Pokemon that you just it just rides. Like a, a wacky races Pokemon. It turns into various vehicles. How extremely convenient. You no longer need multiple ride Pokemon. There just simply is the ride Pokemon. Okay. Where will you go? Character designs look pretty cool. Who will you meet? A caveman and a space... Uh, a cave lady and a spaceman. That character's cold. Whoa! New Pokemon! Something to treasure. What is this? Oh boy. Oh, here's the new gimmick. What? It's starting to get a clearer picture of your adventures to come in the Paldea region. Yeah. I'd like to dive a little deeper into the information presented. So let's take a closer Please look do. Here, shall we? Cuz this looks like just another like replacement for what was originally Mega Evolution. The Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. These titles will be open world RPGs, a first for the Pokemon no! series. I don't believe you. And vibrant towns weave together to form the Paldea region, where your new adventure will unfold. I mean, I like the look of the region. These are the legendary Pokemon, Coridon and Miridon. You'll ride on one of them as a partner you, in you your ride adventure. on them. Climb on. And together like, is this you'll from the beginning? Grassy fields, move across water and glide through the sky. Your partner can change forms as needed while you explore every nook and cranny of the region with them. It's a legendary Pokemon that you pretty much just have at the beginning. You will be enrolling at a certain academy as a student. Does it matter? And like a which special one? independent study Probably project not. awaits you. The treasure hunt. Through it, you'll embark on a journey to find treasure of your own here in Paldea. Treasure hunt. Three grand stories are waiting for you. Three grand One stories? One story will revolve around the familiar gym battles. You'll go to eight Pokemon gyms and aim for the champion rank. In these games, there is no set path you must take when challenging the gyms. Chart okay. your very own course along Victory Road. Alright, I like that. You can challenge any gym in any the order. two stories you'll experience hold many surprises and discoveries as well. Which story will you begin with? How probably will you progress through them? Uh, probably tackling whatever evil organization is plaguing this region 
and then the legend of whatever the legendary Pokemon, you know, and are supposedly Juro. up to. Research legends passed on in the Paldea region. Mr. Clavel is the director of the academy you'll attend. And Mr. Jacques is your homeroom teacher who teaches biology. You'll have your battle-loving friend, Nimona. And you'll meet Arvin, an upperclassman and a great cook. There's also Penny, a shy student in your grade. There are gym leaders, too. Like Grusha, the ice-type gym These Pokemon uh, designs Did are getting closer and closer to looking like Yu-Gi-Oh! characters. Many different species of Pokemon also call the Paldea region home. Rotom. This Pokemon is the Paldean regional form of Wooper. I knew it. It lives on the land and covers its body with a poisonous film. Okay, ground Fido. poison type. Oh boy. Fully squishy Pokemon <laughs> are smooth to the touch. Fido. Here's Cititan, which has a large body and a hard horn that can freeze its surroundings. Cititan? Of course, we also have the Pokemon from which you'll choose your first partner. Sprigatito, Fuecoco, Fuecoco, and Quaxley. I can't Enjoy figure out which one I Pokemon. want, the grass, the fire type. And complete your Pokedex as part of your adventure. Hmm. By using the Union Circle. You can enjoy co-op play with up to three friends. You can go look for Pokemon you haven't yet discovered. Or even ride together to race across the map. Enjoy all the Paldea region has to offer with family and friends. Terrest Terrestrial Pokemon? Terrestrial? Terrestrial eyes? Okay, so this is... Makes Pokemon shine like gems. We are the crystal gems. <laughs> this is weird. Why? All Pokemon in the Paldea region are able to terastalize, which can provide a boost to a Pokemon's type and make its moves stronger. Some Pokemon will change type when they terastalize. Okay. What type they become seems to depend on that Pokemon's Terra type. For example, an Eevee would typically remain normal type after terastalizing, but there could be Eevee that become grass or water type after terastalizing. Okay. Well, that makes it a little more different Pokemon than Dynamaxing and stuff. It's still kind of weird. Pokemon that have rare Terra types are more likely to appear in Terra raid battles. Man, this is a replacement for uh, you can challenge Terra Pokemon the Dynamax raids. Up to three other trainers. This is a new kind of raid battle where you can attack or heal with your own timing without having to wait for your allies. Try to cooperate with your allies to get the upper hand in these battles. After you successfully defeat a Terra Pokemon, you'll get the opportunity to catch it for yourself. Just like the old ones. So it's just a slightly different kind of Dynamax feature. We've kept all the things you love about Pokemon while evolving the adventure you can have in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We hope you look forward to the day you set out on your I guess adventure. the battle system has not been changed. They did not bring over the system from Legends Arceus. Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon I kind of hope they would. Available to pre -order at participating retailers now. As far as I can tell, they didn't. Your independent study Balloon of Pikachu begins in three months. We eagerly await your enrollment. That's all for today's presentation. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching. Okay.
Okay, so... I mean, overall, I, I guess it's nice to see more stuff for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And... I'm surprised that it looks like these two legendary Pokemon are just going to be ride Pokemon, more or less. I guess later you'll get the option to capture it and actually have it be um, something you can use in battle. I guess it'll be a little bit different that way. Hmm. I, I do wonder how that works with like the lore. Like, they're legendary Pokemon, but you can, I guess you can just use them whenever you want. But yeah, that's what I'm figuring. The story-wise, again, they're, they're, they're doing the gems again. At least this time, you can challenge in whatever order you want. And, I mean, that, that's fine. Uh, the other two stories, again, there'll be some sort of evil organization or something, more than likely, that you'll have to stop. And you can explore that story if you want, um, or take a break from each one. And then, of course, the other story will likely be the story of the legendary Pokemon, and you have to track them down, learn about where they come from, or, or maybe not where they come from, but just, you know, their lore, the legends about them, why they're here, why, they, <laughs> why they're basically living motorcycles and gl uh, hand gliders. I mean, it's an interesting idea, and I, I want to know the story. You know, like, like Gen Four, Gen Three was land versus water with the sky as the neutralizer with Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza, and then you had Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina for space, time, and uh, antimatter, and then Gen Five was uh, truth versus ideals. And then q -Rim represented, you know, the absence of either. It was just an empty husk. And then you had false ideals and false truths or something like that. Uh, for its forms. And then Gen 6 was life and death. It, it's, it's interesting. I, I want to know what this region's lore will be. And if, if these stories at all are integrated... In some way, because usually the stories are the 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 gym battles, the evil organization you got to stop, and the legendary Pokemon all kind of intertwine a little bit. The way they're wording it here is that these are all separate, or you know you can do any one at any time, I guess. But I don't know. Anyway, I'm interested to see which one, uh, how everything is gonna work out. I'm really not entirely sure which one I want yet. I think I'm leaning towards Scarlet just because I like their color red. But I don't know. That big wheel on that one's chest, it, it, it looks just like it's a, there's a tire sticking out of it. I, I don't know. I think the other one that looks like a jet may have the better design. So I'm not sure which one I want. But anyway, that's all I got for you for the Pokemon stuff. And I guess we'll have to wait three more months before we find out what's going to happen. A little bit over three months. It's in November. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Check out all my other videos if you would. You can leave a comment too. That would be very nice. And we'll pick up another day of Pokemon news whenever they decide to give us some. And they probably won't now. This, probably, this might be the last thing we get for these two games until the release date. But when they do, I'll check it out. But until then, we'll see you later.